Hi, this is Jeff the Hydrologist. It's been a very wet winter here in Arizona. And what does that mean for our aquifers and our water supplies looking out in the future? Rain is part of the hydrologic cycle, forms in clouds and then falls to the Earth's surface. Rainfall that hits the land surface can do one of four things. It can be used by plants. It can be evaporated into the atmosphere, which combined that's called evapotranspiration. It can run off over land into channels, or it can infiltrate into the ground and ultimately flow vertically to the aquifer. The primary factors that influence how much rainwater will infiltrate into the ground include the slope of the land, the type of the soils, the rainfall intensity, the vegetation cover, and temperature. An aquifer is a geologic formation that holds and transmits water and allows water to flow horizontally and vertically underground. Water in an aquifer is found in the pore spaces between the subsurface materials. Water in the aquifer is not generally a flowing river or an open lake. There are sometimes large cavities, but it is a misconception to think that it's a river or an underground lake. Overall, a majority of rainwater does not make it into the aquifer. Estimates are approximately 70 to 95 percent of rainwater that falls on the Earth's surface is lost to evapotranspiration and runoff. Only a small portion ultimately makes it into the subsurface and into the aquifer. When we get large rain events like summer monsoons, still most of it will be lost as it runs off and past where it normally can be used. Rainfall provides another benefit to the aquifer by reducing the amount of water we need to use outdoors on our plants, in our pools, and other uses, thereby saving that water in the aquifer instead of pumping it to meet those demands. The bottom line is rainfall does benefit the aquifers in the desert southwest, but it's not as much as you might think. <laughs>